Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru Channel. It is October 2nd, 2016, and we are staying on top of this seismic activity around the Earth. But first, we want to share a fantastic photograph with you before we let you listen to our third report of the day. This photograph was sent in by one of our fantastic Nibiru watchers, and the light that is illuminating in the upper left-hand corner was that of a full moon. Here, you can see clearly depicted Nibiru and its red oxide wings exposed for the first time in a nighttime photograph. We are now getting much clearer photographs of this planet in the nighttime sky, which now leads us into our current report. So, I want to show you folks something. This article was published back on June 8th, 2016. Headline. Planet X approach is causing devastating climate and seismic activity. Okay, here we are, months later, October 2nd, 2016, and yes, we have increased seismic activity all over the western portion of the United States. Just over the last few days, the whole entire state of California has been in upheaval over all of the tremors that they've been having. Now, people say, oh, what are you talking about? Everybody in California knows all about earthquakes. They have tremors all the time. And to me, that sounds like you're saying blah, 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 blah. Because if that was the case, then they would not issue an earthquake warning and an advisory for all of Southern California for possibly a period of the next seven days. So let's go back and take a look at this. Now, these are all current earthquakes. 117 minutes ago in the state of Washington, we had a magnitude 2.92. Let's move down into California. A couple of hours ago, two hours ago, magnitude 2.86. Now, listen, folks, these people are feeling these earthquakes. There is absolutely no doubt about it. 94 minutes ago, King City, California, 2.16. They are feeling these earthquakes. Trust me when I tell you. Next earthquake, 2.3. Mammoth Lakes, California. They are definitely feeling these quakes. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Now, less than 48 hours ago, they did issue this advisory for all of Southern California basically for everyone to be prepared. Now it states here, the California Office of Emergency Service, OES, issued an earthquake advisory warning residents and officials in Ventura, San Diego, San Bernardino, Riverside, Orange, Los Angeles, Kern, and Imperial counties that there was a greater possibility of a major earthquake through October 4th. Now let me show you all something. This is the Sechi space telescope. This monitors the sun. This was taken not more than eight hours ago. I want you to see these bursts of energy coming from the sun. Now, there will be your naysayers out there. Will, they'll say, oh, well, this happens all the time. It's the sun. Well, here is my hypothesis, and it's not just my idea. It is the idea and the thoughts of many other Nibiru researchers that the brown dwarf star that is behind the sun and preparing for its exodus has a very strong magnetic hold on the sun. Basically, they are in a huge tug of war. Now, these huge bursts of energy, they make it to Earth. And for instance, if Earth was within this space telescope's view right now, and we were blasted with one of these strong energy bursts, well, let's just say this, we can kiss our butts goodbye. But I believe that these bursts of energy are definitely affecting the Earth. The magnetic pull, tug of war, on our Earth with the Sun and the brown dwarf star and nemesis is creating all of this seismic activity on the earth. Now, I haven't even gotten into the earthquake activity 
in the Ring of Fire in the South Pacific. I was just monitoring earlier today, looking at Hawaii. Not long ago, seven hours ago, magnitude 2.94. Like I said, folks, these people are feeling these earthquakes. Anchor Point, Alaska, three hours ago, magnitude 2.9. My point is, it's definitely happening. It's definitely occurring. And this is something that we need to watch very, very closely. So because of all of the increased seismic activity and the photographs that have been coming in are beginning to be clearer and clearer and the planet seems to be getting closer and closer as you've just seen in these two photographs. But let's just not trust a photograph. Let's check out a really, really amazing video. Now, last month, one of our Nibiru watchers was videotaping the full moon. Upon videotaping the full moon, there was some cloud cover, but he kept on videotaping. And then he saw a pink object below the moon. So he decided to continue videotaping. And lo and behold, what does he capture on his video but our pink planet Nibiru? Clear as a bell in the nighttime sky under the moon. Boom, people! That's what I call video evidence. The next photograph was sent in once again by one of our loyal Nibiru subscribers, and they just happened to take a photograph up at the sun. And what do they see? What's well, planet Nibiru? Clear as a bell, three dimensional, with a shadow casted from the other side showing that it's a three-dimensional object and not a lens flare. Well, at this time, folks, I'd like to say, I'd like to thank all of you Nibiru watchers. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Keep your videos and your photographs coming in to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, Keep an eye in the sky. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 2nd, 2016, and we are staying on top of this seismic activity around the Earth. But first, we want to share a fantastic photograph with you before we let you listen to our third report of the day. This photograph was sent in by one of our fantastic Nibiru watchers. And the light that is illuminating in the upper left-hand corner was that of a full moon. Here you can see clearly depicted Nibiru and its red oxide wings exposed for the first time in a nighttime photograph. We are now getting much clearer photographs of this planet in the nighttime sky, which now leads us into our current report. So, I want to show you folks something. This article was published back on June 8th, 2016. 